Happy. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to JetBlue Park. Uh, my job is simple here today. It's just to welcome all of you uh, and to say a quick thank you um, to the Story family uh, on behalf of John Henry and Tom Werner and our entire ownership group. We are so glad to have you and your family here in Boston. Uh, and I also want to express huge thanks to our incredible baseball operations group led by Hyam Bloom and Brian O'Halloran. Uh, they've done an amazing job and we're so uh, proud and appreciative of their efforts. And AC and your group, thanks for some of the recruiting that went into making this moment possible. Um, thank you, welcome, and uh, I'll turn it over to Hyam. Thanks, Sam. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, we are thrilled to welcome Trevor and his wife, Mally, uh, to the Red Sox family. Uh, Trevor's work on the field speaks for itself. He's been one of the most dynamic players in the game. Uh, he impacts the game in every facet, at the plate, uh, in the field, on the bases. Um, his athleticism plays on, on both sides of the ball. Um, and he's been both a run producer and a premium defender in the middle of the field. Uh, and he has the ability to help us in every aspect of the game. Uh, but he's just as impressive outside the lines. When you talk to people who know Trevor, you learn some things about him, and, and that's as much a reason why we're sitting here today. He values family. When he chose someone to spend his life with, he chose well. <laughs> he's tough. He's accountable. He's a hard worker. He loves the game. He cares about winning. He's a great teammate. And we're blessed here with a, a talented and, and growing core. We've got veteran leaders who have won championships and want to do it again. We've got young players who got a taste of October and they're hungry for more. Uh, all of us in baseball ops are so grateful uh, to John and Tom, Mike and Sam for the support and the backing and the investment in what we're trying to build here. In our programs, in our staff, in the talent that we're developing from within, and in this case, uh, that we add from the outside. So as we continue to build, we look to keep growing that, that core so we can sustain consistent excellence for many years. Trevor fits what we're trying to do here. He fits us on the field, he fits us in the clubhouse, and we're so excited to bring him and Mally to the family. Trevor, welcome to the Red Sox. Thank you. Yeah, this is uh, really a you know a dream come true for me um, to play for an organization like Boston. This is uh, you know just so much respect from afar for this team, for this organization, and getting to know AC, uh, you know BOH, Sam Kennedy, all the ownership. This has been uh, just you know a, a true privilege for me and my family. Um, they've they've already made us feel like we're at home here. And you know, at the end of the day, this kind of comes down to winning. And um, we felt like this was a, a great fit for me and my family. Um, and uh, just, just so looking forward to this opportunity to get on the field and um, chase this championship. Jersey, all right. Want to do the jersey? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. official. That's something that I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, I took BP yesterday just to uh, kind of feel the 
on the replica field to, to see the monster and um, <laughs> get used to it a little bit. And uh, that's something that, uh, you know, is going to take a little time for sure. But I'm excited, man. I know it's such a, a historic, you know, the most historic place, I think, in baseball. And it's really an honor to put on this jersey and to play in that ballpark every night. So um, I, I feel really good about how my game will adjust there. Um, just just kind of need the reps and the time. I think, um, you know, the there's kind of that, that stigma around Coors Field, um, whether, you know, the ball flies, which, it, you know, it certainly does. But um, I think more so the adjustment I would have to make is just the, the toll, I think, that it takes to play in altitude. Um, yeah, I think I'll feel a little better um, playing in Boston every every night, uh, just just when it comes to that and the recovery aspect of it. Um, but other than that, you know, I think baseball is baseball, and it's it's played at you know it's played the same at, at every park, and that's just that's kind of the way that I've always looked at it. Sure. Um, these guys, you know, AC and, you know, Kike and, um, you know, Sale and Bogey, all these guys have reached out to me and, um, you know, already made me feel so much at home. I haven't really met those guys in person just yet, obviously just from playing on the field with them. But, um, you know, they, they've been more than welcoming and uh, those are the guys that, that get me excited about playing here. Such such a young, talented team. And like Heinz said, it's, uh, you know, veterans that have won championships and um, this is uh, – very, very attractive place for me, and that you know that's why I chose this place. How much pressure do you think will be on your shoulders being a missing link to a world championship? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that's that's why we came here, right? <laughs> you know, we came here to win, and um, I know the expectations here, and I know the expectations of myself, and um, kind of the standard that's set here by by everybody from the front office and and on down. So. Um, that that pressure won't be put on me by myself, but um, I think just going out there and playing ball will, will kind of take care of itself. But we're going to do everything we can. Yeah, sure. You know, it was uh, something that me and my family and, and my team had to talk about a lot. And um, at the end of the day. Like I said, it you know it kind of came down to you know I've been I've been saying you know my, my whole career that uh, it's about winning and I felt that this was the you know a really good fit for me um, to play second this year um, on this team on the Red Sox and that's really what it came down to um, and really just kind of seeing this team and and, and seeing the, the trend that they're on and, and kind of the players and the, and the makeup of this team that's really what what kind of swayed me. Yeah, um, you know, just uh, kind of everyone's just glowing about Fenway and Boston and the city and, and just the the passion that the fans bring every night. I think that's the that was one of the most attractive things for me and my family, too. Um, you know, that's uh, that's what you want. You know, these guys, you know, the fans, everybody here, everybody involved is cares, you know, just as much as we do. And um, so. Can't wait to get to Fenway and, and play in front of the, the Red Sox faithful. Um, yeah, I think, you know, Bogey's been, you know, he's been amazing, you know, throughout uh, kind of this process of, of me coming here and um, he reached out to me you know we, we talked on the phone for a little bit and um, I think those things stay between us but you know he didn't have to do that and uh, I think it just kind of you know shows his character and speaks to the kind of guy that he is um, you know he wants to win and you know he, he, he wanted me to come here and that made me feel um, it made me feel comfortable you know off the jump so um, but for as far as what was actually said, you know, I think that stays between us. Yeah, he, I mean, you know, Trevor's been talking about winning and that, and part of the reason why 
we went after him is because we know how much he cares about winning. Um, everybody standing here, sitting here, already knows how much Xander Bogarts cares about winning and cares about this organization. And he showed it again in, in terms of, uh, of this process. And you could feel it. You know, he, he, he recognizes talent, right? And you could feel, um, you know, how much he wanted to add to this group and how much he wants another ring. Yeah, I mean, you know, we talked about it a lot at the beginning of free agency, the beginning of the off season. You know, we cast a really wide net. You know, all over the the game, free agents, trade targets. Uh, but Trevor uh, was someone, you know, this year really from the outset uh, that we had circled uh, because of all the things that I said. You know, he's incredibly talented. Uh, he can impact the game in every possible way. It's not just what shows up on the back of the baseball card. Uh, you know, you look at how he runs the bases and some of the little things that he does and those add value. They help you win games. And we know how narrow the margins are, especially in the American League East. We saw that last year. We just barely got in. And then we, we were fortunate enough to play for a while. And he does a lot of those things that help you win baseball games that don't show up in the box score. And then what I talked about, about his character, uh, you know, for, you know, move of this magnitude, you do an incredible amount of background research. Uh, talked to a lot of people. I haven't found anybody yet who has a bad word to say about Trevor's story. Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I know about the player, but throughout the process, uh, getting to know him as a person has been amazing. Uh, since the first conversation we had uh, in November, I think it was, and, and throughout the last 10 or 15 days, it, it's been great. Making a few phone calls, just to, you know, make sure we were in the same page. I know guys around the league really respect him. The athlete, the the, the player, he, he brings a lot to this uh, to our equation. And uh, one of the things that we've been very consistent throughout this off season, uh, it's it's having guys that they're hungry to win, but they're great people, you know. And uh, you see the new guys that have been here throughout camp, you know, and in, in, in that clubhouse, it feels like they've been together for, you know, they've been with us for two or three years. Now we add Trevor, you know, he feels the same way. Obviously what a lot of people did throughout the process, it means a lot, not only to the organization, but I know to, to him, you know, they make him feel, uh, feel at home. And uh, that's what we're, what we're trying to accomplish, you know, just for him to come here and like he says, play ball. And uh, we're gonna be in a good place. Um, you know, he's, he's a very athletic group. I've been telling our strength coaches, our hitting coaches, Carlos Febles, and infield coach that they got better yesterday you know obviously they made you know I'm is a lot smarter today I'm gonna be a better manager because he's here but all kidding aside um, we talk about improving and we've done it throughout the off season. you know we added some pitching now Trevor and um, you know I gotta give credit to ownership you know John Tom uh, Mike Linda and, and Sam obviously our front office lit by Heim you know BOH uh, Raquel and, and Eddie what they done is, is is amazing, you know. And uh, when we, we when I found out, it was a great day because uh, you know we we don't. It's not only a great player; it's a great person, and we've been doing that for for a while now. Yeah, sure. It's uh, <clears throat> you know, obviously uh, you know, truncated uh, spring training. Everyone's kind of crunched on time as it is now. Um, and, you know, I definitely fall in that boat. But, um, yeah, I think playing playing second is something that, you know, I'm comfortable with. It's something I did a lot in the minor leagues. Um, playing on that side of second, uh, I feel like I've done that a lot in the shift over the past few years. And um, so I know, you know, there, there's the little intricate details of it that I'm looking forward to, to getting comfortable with. But overall, just being being there, I'd say I'm pretty comfortable. And um, But, yeah, looking forward to getting those reps. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a, uh, you know, it's just it's a kind of a spectacle. You know, it's something that, you know, people come to see. And um, I think when it comes to the game game part of it, it's something that, um, you know, usually when I when I hit a ball off the wall, I'm going to second no matter what. And from what I hear, I need to 
might need to walk that back a little bit. But um, yeah, and that, you know that's going to come with the reps, and you know I like to be aggressive, but uh, I know that uh, that's that's something I'm looking forward to, and it's just hard to tell until until I'm there every night. Two questions I cannot answer right now. Uh, we, we obviously we just need him to get some reps and then put the spikes on and then go through go through the progression. So it, it's up to to him and the medical staff. As far as the lineup, I, I mean we'll see we'll see where we at April seventh. But you know one thing for sure, you know if he's healthy and he's ready to go, he'll be in the lineup April seventh. Um, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of room, you know, deep in, in right center. I know that some balls can get uh, kicked around out there. Um, so, you know, hitting some balls out there, you know, maybe some more triples, I guess. <laughs> so, um, but no, I wouldn't say one thing in particular, you know, just kind of just can't say how excited I am to, to be a part of that and, and playing that part and, and in front of those fans. That That's probably the most the most uh, intriguing thing for me. <clears throat> well, B, it be, I mean, we're going to be better in that aspect, right? We're, we're more athletic. Uh, he's a, it's not about stealing bases. I've been saying all along, just the decisions, and he's an elite, you know, base runner. So, um, you know, from that aspect, we, we became actually better and uh, – I think the knowledge and, and the communication factor, I think he's going to help his teammates, you know, uh, talk about the game and not only base running wise, offensively, defensively, just just having conversations with him. He has passion about the game. You see all these kids that come up from, from that organization. You see him from afar. You see Nolan with Cardinals and, and DJ with New York. You know, they, they, they help their teammates and they make them better. And it's not about only the numbers, but it's what they bring to the equation. And they, they know the game. They know how to play the game. Obviously, everybody thinks that it's a different game in Colorado, but like Trevor said, it's still the same game. You got to get 27 outs. You got to, you know, score some runs and play good defense. And uh, you know, he brings that to the equation. I think he's going to help us, you know, in that aspect. This is a, it's it's always a hot topic. Anytime a, a really good player from the Rockies goes and, and changes teams, there's actually a good amount of research uh, in the public domain on it that uh, everybody can read, and and we do our own research certainly. And you know, from a you know from a projection perspective, obviously it's a variable, but uh, there's a lot of research, and there's been a lot of really good examples. Um, Alex just named a couple of guys who, who leave course and uh, do very, very well. Uh, yeah, I mean, those are, you know, two of my best friends in the game and, you know, off the field too, but, um, you know, to be honest, not you know, not much has has gone into that conversation, um, which is kind of why you know we we've they've shared the same view as me is that you know baseball is baseball and the, you know kind of no matter where it's played and you know we understand that you know that that perception for sure, um, but uh, you know we're we're just about the ball and and uh, looking forward to uh, to playing those games, you know. You know, we uh, we had a really good program in the off season, um, so feel really good about that. And it's uh, you know it's something that that happened last year and something that's behind us. So uh, really healthy and, and looking forward to to getting on the field and, and getting to the ball.